there with your boys, a class of Dom. We'll be right on. He's not here right now, but he'll be here later on. Ladies and gentlemen, all right, straight off the bat, K-Lab Game Station live stream finishing a while ago. We're going to drop a link of it in the description below. Go check it out for yourself. Show him some love. But straight away, we're going to talk about these medals right here. What are they? Are they going to be the all-star item or not? We never said it was. We said it could be. We don't know. Should it be? But what it did say is, all right, on the 15th of July, log in to get three birthday medals on Ichigo's birthday, ladies and gentlemen. So you're going to get three medals Oh, she got a birthday, and then they also put down dates of other characters too. Uh, but on those birthdays, you're only going to be getting one medal each. So in total, that's about 16. If you add them together, you've got three of Ichigos and one of every other character that's going to be having a birthday. So, but what does it mean though? What do, you, what do the medals do, Cass? They, apparently you can trade these in for a five-star summer ticket. What? Right? I know. Five-star summer ticket. Oh, crap. Hold up, hold up. So you're giving us these medals on characters' birthdays to trade them in for a five-star ticket, but of a pool of characters we don't know yet. Are there going to be birthday special characters? Are there going to be amazing characters? Are they going to be in the pool of premium summons? We have no idea, but here's the thing. It opens the door up to possibilities now. If they're giving us these medals to exchange in the shop for five-star tickets, what does it mean then? Can you trade... Will we be able to trade this? For other stuff too? Will there be other medals coming our way? Will we be able to buy other things from the shop? What would you guys want to buy from the shop? Does that mean you're going to buy accessories from the shop? If you can get a 5 star ticket, you're guaranteed a 5 star ticket, right? Does that mean you can, in the future, you can exchange specific medals or maybe coins or something and get yourself a guaranteed chappy? Does it... What, what, see, that's what I'm talking about. The, the possibilities now are crazy because they didn't break down exactly what the hell it was or how many medals you're going to need. So it makes you think that Oh my god, maybe there was a chappy that you never had or, 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 an, or an item you never had. Maybe it's going to be a possibility in the realm of possibility to go ahead and maybe get that item now. I don't know because these medals are amazing. They, again, they can't just be for five star tickets, can they? I know it's a special and I know they're giving it for birthdays. One of each and give three for Ichigo. The Ichigo that would be amazing. By the way, I don't have four bring Ichigo. So it, it really leaves that question of what the hell is about to happen now. It's, uh, yeah, so that's all I can tell you right now. These medals you can exchange for five-star tickets, but I don't know how many medals you're going to need in order to exchange it for that. All right, so what's in the future of, of, of Bleak Brave Souls are just good things, like we always said. So this is just like, oh my God! If this is a if they're going to give us medals for tickets, so they're going to give us anything else we don't even know. Yeah, but let, let me know. Let us know who what it is that you guys would want from special medals. You know what I mean? Five-star tickets is a good thing. But would you guys want specific items? I don't know. Comment section below. But yeah, that's about to happen. So don't forget to log in on all these characters' birthdays. Um, and you know what? I'm going to scroll through and show you on what day is specific. As it pertains to uh, this picture right here. So on the 15th, it's going to be Ichigo. Then you've obviously got um, on the 18th. Then you've got the 25th, the 30th. 31st is Grim Jow the Man. And because it's 8th day, I'm thinking it's August. <laughs> so yeah, from the 1st of um, is Yuri. Then you've got on the 2nd, you've got 8th, 14th, 17th, 23rd, 25th. 28th and then Renji on the 31st. Are they going to implement this going forward into September, October, November? We don't know. But we know that July and August, this is about to happen. So you're probably going to get a medal on each one of their birthdays. So again, in total, you're about 16. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, make of it what you will, but we can't wait. I know you guys can't wait. Collect those medals. See what it's all about. What the pool of characters are going to be. I have no idea. But what character that you guys want most so yeah, 15th is the first day. Now, this frenzy, Grim Jow, Jagger Jack, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yesterday, no one really knew what the Soul Trait kind of was. They, uh, maybe if anybody found out late or not. Apparently, it is the reverse of Ichigo. So Ichigo had 18% normal attack damage, 16% strong attack damage. Um, this Grim Jow has got the opposite. So he's got 18% strong attack damage, 16% normal attack damage. Um, that's what, it, that's what it's been said to be, but I would have loved to have damage reduction on him. I thought that would have been amazing. Damage reduction, maybe some normal attack damage would have been really nice. But I don't think they're ready for that yet. If they're going to give it to anyone, I was hoping it would be him because he is a beast. 
Um, the new Grim Jow Jagger Jack is absolutely insane. I got him on my JP account. Amazing. But this Frenzy, can't wait to see what he's like. I want to see his stats. Um, it could be really good. I mean, I know all Frenzy characters are really about soul trait. They give you double soul trait, so you want to use them only as soul trait. But they could make a character that you could actually use. Who knows? It could happen. And this man could be the one. So that is planned for the 14th of July. So get ready to farm those crystals. We have a new event dropping on the 16th of July. Yep, it's the twins again. You guys know my history about the twins. They're gone. Um, you can get a brand new four star Ashika Jizo, ladies and gentlemen, which will be pretty sweet. Um, it's called Serate Alternate Tales Warning of the Twin Fishes. Great name, great way to farm. You get a kind of spirit orbs from there. New character, four star character, max it out. And it's going to be sweet. You know what? Lottery events are always nice. You know, you get the spin. Blah, 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 bam. And you could pull something really good. It, but I like that event reason because you get accessory tickets, premium summer tickets. And we use them. And maybe you'll get a five-star character from there. Who knows? But that's headed our way 16th of July. Also 16th of July, we are going up against the Soul Reaper, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is the past. Soul Reaper Army Awakened. It's about to go down. Nightmare mode, ladies and gentlemen. Nightmare mode. That's where it's at. That's where we're going to be. We're going to be smashing, bashing, killing, skilling. I don't know. I have no idea what the hell I'm saying. All right, so <laughs> from there, we will, we're going to be getting our four to five star summer tickets and your four star above accessory ticket, which is always nice. We like some of that. Put that on it. Um, yeah, so that's going to be really exciting. Can't wait. It's all about the past. Um, the past Soul Reaper done that. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's nice, it's different, it's a little bit different. But I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be on a nightmare mode. There's going to be conditions to do it in. Uh, maybe not losing a character. Yeah, not losing um, a team member and the rest of it. Completely within a certain amount of time. You guys are going to be alright. You guys don't need help. Take a vortex character, take a normal attack damage. High normal attack damage character. Job done. Pretty good. We already talked to you guys yesterday about the Inheritor Zone coming back. If you want to know the breakdown of... Um, what days, what color is dropping on the Heritage Zone? The Heritage Zone is, um, uh, you know, your your character link slots. If you want to upgrade them, so you can get a second character's uh, stats onto yours. The date, the dates, and the specific colors are in the last video. So we're gonna also leave that in the description below. Go ahead and check it out for yourselves. So yeah, this is gonna be exciting. It's gonna be from the 17th of July up to the July 24th. If you guys don't already know, I'm pretty sure you guys are about to know. But again. I know that everybody is aiming for a couple of characters. If you guys got Full Bring Ichigo, that's the one you're really going for to max out his soul links. Um, or you can be going for Blue Kenny. But are you guys doing anything unique? Is there, are any guys out there like doing Barragan or Vasta Lorde or Essie Kiora? Let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, headed our way soon. We got another way to get spirit orbs. Yeah, we got the new sub stories also on July 19th. Again, this is uh, you, the sub stories stick around anyway. You can find it in the top um, next to story mode. Sub stories, you can find sub stories there, or is it the bottom? Top bottom. I don't know. You guys, let me know. Um, so yeah, you can get spirit orbs from there as well. It's not a long story. It's just a sub story. So it's a couple of chapters. You get spirit orbs from there anyway, and you get a couple of new characters as well. Like I think you get two star characters as well in there, which would actually be pretty nice if there was. Is there new characters in there? Maybe. Um, so it's called Operation Fundraising Women's Soul Reaper Association. Hey man. You know how it is. You know how it goes down. Yeah, so yeah, that's going to be available for us on July 19th. Don't forget to check that out and get yourself some spirit orbs because end of the month is coming. That's for that anniversary. What's about to happen? I don't know. Lastly, Global Bankai Share and Like Campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, it is happening. Hey, man, I want my rewards. I want my tickets. I want my spirit orbs. I want my hokus. I want my hokuku wheels. Hey, we all need them, man. We all need them. We need it like crazy right now. So yeah, don't forget guys, we need to go over there and make sure you retweet. Make sure you go and like. Make sure you at the line, ladies and gentlemen. Get those tickets, the rewards are amazing. I ain't stopping until I'm dropping there. We gotta get them. All right, guys, I don't care what you do. I don't care if you go to your friends, your friends' friends, your friends, share with your friends and family. Subscribe to them already. I don't care what you guys do, but go out there and make sure you guys make this happen. The rewards are amazing. We need to get a certain amount. So if you guys don't already know the details, go over to um, uh, bleakbraysouls.com. Or you can go and check out a video that we dropped a couple days ago. It's called a Global Bunker Share and Like Campaign. Go check it out. The details are there. How to retweet, how to like, how to at. Do it all. Get it done. Ladies and gentlemen, it's amazing. Great things are happening coming up to the anniversary. Don't forget the medals are absolutely crazy. But what's about to happen next? I don't know. But what I do know is, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Share this video with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
That's your boy Don. Not here right now. This is your boy Cass. Wait. Cass, wait out. 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 Out.